There was an electric buzz at the Dirty Terps home opener at Bob Tuttle Smith Stadium when the first pitch hit the glove at 4 o'clock, but that electricity quickly died when the Mountaineers got off to a fast start and never looked back. The Terps made a valiant effort in the seventh frame, but to no avail, as the Mountaineers won over the Terps 8-6. to six. With the packed and anxious crowd waiting, the game got off to a high-scoring start, but instead by West Virginia. The Mountaineers put up three hits in the first inning that led to five runs, and Maryland's starting pitcher, Ryan Van Buren, being pulled. You're not wanting to kind of dip in the well too much with guys, and um, so you're, you know, you're, you're trying obviously not to use three guys in the first. That's not, not usually a recipe for success um, on a Tuesday, but it's what we had to do. Then, Maryland doubled down on their unfortunate start with a 1-2-3 in. Maryland would go on to let up two more runs, including a home run, putting them in a huge 7 to nothing hole. However, Rob Vaughn's gritty squad would respond that same inning with two of their own runs coming off the bat of senior Nick LaRusso after his two-run double. The defense for both teams then picked up through a couple of good plays, as no runs were scored until the seventh inning when West Virginia knocked in a solo home run. The Dirty Terps would not go down without a fight, though, as they once again responded with two electric back-to-back -back home runs from Elijah Lambos, which was his first career home run, and Luke Schliger, making the score 8-5. to five. Maryland's Nigel Belgrave would then come into the eighth inning and have the best performance of any Terrapin pitcher who threw, as he had back-to-back -back strikeouts in both the eighth and ninth frames. Down three in the ninth, Keister attempted to give the Terrapin offense the boost they needed to overcome the deficit with a one-run single, but they would fold and give up the final three outs with a losing score of 8-6. to six. Maryland would now look to find more offensive sparks to give the top 15 team performances that are expected of them the rest of the season. With Terrapin Sports Central, I'm Andrew McBride.